I'm Savannah Schmutzer. I'm Ben Seipel. And we are your treasures of Liberty Common High School. Today we're going to teach you how to properly do an Eagles Landing shift. So the first step of any shift is to go into the front office and ask for the key sign in sign out sheet. This sheet allows you to sign out the key that then opens the Eagles Landing. Now you want to make sure that you sign and write your name in the slot that you were assigned to for your shift. Make sure to include the date and time. While one person opens the Eagles Landing, the other person goes to get the cart from the math closet located next to Mrs. Lannan's room. After retrieving the cart from the math closet, you want to go to the Eagles Landing immediately and hang up the clothes, pull out the fridge, and set the donuts, chips, and muffins on top of the counter. After taking the items off the cart, take out the binder and sign into your shift. Make sure that you do equal initialing throughout your shift on the checklist. During a shift when a customer hands you money, you want to make sure to place their money on top of the counter before giving them the correct change. This ensures accuracy. After that, simply mark on the tally sheet which product they bought. After a shift is completed, simply put all the items back onto the cart, put the binder back in its left drawer, turn off the lights, return the cart to the math closet, then sign the key back out into the front office. Remember, the office is only open from 7.15 to 3.45. For the morning shift, you have to show up at 7.10 and you have to coordinate with the other worker as to who will get the donuts. For the afternoon shift, you will have to make the coffee and you can refer to the easy coffee guide inside of the Eagle's Landing. Take the coffee percolator to the kitchen and rinse out the urn, the pan, the stick, and the lid. Fill the urn up to the 12-ish millimeter mark. Place the pan on top of the stick, place the lid on top of the pan, place the entire top on the urn, and then secure the main lid on the percolator. Grind one cup of coffee beans using the black grinder. Both the beans and the grinder are located inside the Eagle's Landing cabinet. Remove the main lid and the pan's lid to pour the grounds into the pan. Plug in the coffee percolator into the white timer attached to the black power strip. Thank you for watching the Eagles Landing training video. We hope this has been informative. If you have any questions, feel free to come and ask us. Thank you. That's a cut. Are we oh, thank God. Are we done? Oh, finally. I thought I would never leave.